How's it going? This is Cole Rolfin. Welcome back to Paraspora. So our latest directive is to make a research site, uh, research station over here at uh, Lothlorien. <laughs> and yeah, we also expanded our Hyperloop network, kind of going up into this area, as well as a whole bunch of mining up here. I wonder, huh, there's actually a habitable crater there. Is that... I'm not gonna actually put one down, but... Yeah, underwater. Yeah, okay. wonder why that's uh, selected as a possible location. Anyways, we do have our, our new crater... Our, <laughs> our new crater dome here. That looks like we got some people coming in. Cool. Good, good, good. Yeah, we definitely have room for a whole lot more people now. But we are focusing on extending over here. Mars has reached a new temperature threshold. The planet's temperature is rising steadily. That would be something worthy of celebration, if not for the problems threatening the colonies. Am I doing a good job? Aw, I think we're doing a good job. Yep, we're doing better than expected. Let's be super positive. I should give myself credit. Yeah. The mission has been proceeding better than expected. Exactly. Let's stay positive here. We haven't had anyone attack us recently, or... Terraforming is going quite well now. Now that we're focusing on a little bit, I'm... I'm hoping... <laughs> I'm hoping the water stops eventually. I think it's still expanding a little bit. It seems to be growing, but... Eh, okay. Another thing I was thinking about is maybe... Uh, beside our... Uh, industry centers. Let's add a storage center just for excess materials and stuff. Put one there. One over here. And find a spot. There. And we've already got one there. Okay. Good. Yeah, just to, you know, that way if the factory's ever, yeah, so this factory's reaching if I can highlight it again, five. This one's okay. Yeah, so just excess materials. I do wish you could specify that, you know... I am most looking forward to... Um... Liquid water or lowering radiation. Probably... Um... Hmm. Uh... I don't know. Well, let's say liquid water, sure. Seeing liquid water on Mars. Once the planet has zones with daily temperatures above zero degrees, water will begin to flow. Perhaps it will flush out the enemies. Hmm. Perhaps. But yes, as I was saying, I do wish you could set um, the storage centers to say, hey, these need silicon, so let's store, you know, preferentially silicon here, as opposed to just whatever the computer thinks it wants to throw wherever. But, yeah, so we just had some some food it's stored here. You're like, why would there be food here? We don't have any research centers nearby. Like, there's one down here, some up here. I don't know. Oh, well. So it goes. The main thing is, yeah, a bunch of these are actually full up and they're not getting moved out, so I'm thinking what's happening is the demands are getting met with our other um, our other mines. So I think what we should do is not actually expand additional mines down here for the moment. Um, because yeah, we do want to make sure these mines are active and draining. But what we can do, hopefully before this gets flooded out, let's add research centers here as well. Our research outposts. There. And there. Oh, that didn't place one there. Why not? I don't know. There we go. So let's add those. Um, and I think that'll help uh, these... This one's... Yeah, because this is full of food and it's not, not going anywhere. It's not doing anything. Maybe we could actually grab that one chemical plant and that'll connect. No maintenance? Oh. Oh. Uh, okay, well, we'll just leave it then. We'll probably lose it. I did notice, too, I know last time I said that... Um, oops, it's under scanner here. There. 
There was an there's an aluminum deposit here, and we didn't see anything. When I reloaded, everything showed up. So I don't know. I guess it was just a glitch. <laughs> Makes sense that there'd be stuff there, though. But uh, yeah. Okay, let's prioritize the uh, hyperloop so we can uh, get that done. And then, uh, yeah, I think that'll really speed up advancing along here. The nice thing about doing a a new uh, landing site is it's well, it's quick in that you know it pops up, but then you have to build up. Whereas this, you know, you've got all your resources, but you're trying to build a long ways away. I don't know, it is what it is. New colonists arriving, excellent, good. So yeah, let's see, is that getting this uh, food factory start? Yes, it is. Oh, Sino. Uh, Sino engineered bacteria. Ah, uh, so plants intensity. We're a long ways of from needing that. Um. Maybe let's go up here and get some factory upgrades. Yeah. Sure. Let's do that. There we go. Just connecting up this hyperloop. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, something got smushed. <laughs> Would be nice if there was like a notification that, hey, a, you know, a meteorite hit and uh, mashed up a building. You may, you may want to go attend to that. Otherwise, you don't tend to realize it's happening until you kind of go over and say, oh, <laughs> there's little red dots everywhere. Oh, well. Maybe that'll be a quality of life thing eventually. Oh, special project complete space mirror array. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Oh, more colonists coming in. Okay, so with that done, let's go back to greenhouse gas import again. We're almost at our pressure that we need. Awesome. And green and gases are still going up, so... Or I guess temperature is still going up. Yeah, so just... Slowly making our way along here, decide to drop another aerological scanner, because we don't really know too much about this area. And... <laughs> yeah, still mining out that area. Let's see, maybe what we should do... Where's our scanner here? Okay, so this whole area is clear. Maybe let's set up a hyperloop over this way. Oh yes, definitely. Definitely where we can connect all three here. Yeah, that should be a good spot. Oh! Massey Robotic Base Research Outpost. As we explored Massey's abandoned facilities, a word came to mind. Selflessness. Hundreds of decommissioned robots were piled up, their bodies corroded through. I was overcome with a feeling of devastation. These robots knew the fate that awaited them, and yet they accomplished their mission without hesitation. In a way, I see, them, I see ourselves in these little ones. We're also giving our lives to the pursuit of a better future. Let's hope we have a better end. Hmm. Interesting. I think that was one of these. Uh, yeah, looks like it. And this one... Oh, it's still a long ways away. Interesting. Well, still making progress over here. Got a little worker hub set up, just so it's a little... The run isn't as far. But, uh, yeah, we'll probably set up another hyperloop as far as we can go over here. Where does it connect? Somewhere... oh. There's... closest we're gonna get it. Alright! Alright, let's get factory upgrades. There we go. Yeah, just checking out this area here. Yeah, we're still having problems moving materials out of here. At least some of them. Kind of unfortunate. I wish there was a better way of kind of getting them to prioritize this area. You know, because we want to get it cleared out. This water is still expanding. <laughs> uh, we're almost at 300 millibars. How are we doing with our other... How's our space elevator? Oh, we got four launches done now. It requires so much carbon. My goodness. Nope. Oh, Terex. Land or research outpost. I can't believe how lucky I am. Lester, yesterday I graduated from the academy. Today I'm already on my first expedition. We're off to investigate the remains of Terex One. That'll be challenging because the tech was all super old. 
I feel the field work isn't exactly what I expected. The conditions outside the colonies are much more severe. Luckily, the rest of the team is more experienced. They're helping me used to all this, get used to all this madness. I'm done. I can't deal with another day of work on this on little sleep. As soon as we get back to the colonies, I'm signing up for work in a factory. At least I'll have a solid roof over my head. <laughs> okay. This didn't seem uh, to have anything to do with this research outpost, but all right. I guess that should... Yeah, we're up to 29.1% bonus. Good. Uh, I figure we'll need to get through this uh, tech tree. At least a good part of it. Uh, nitrate nuclear extraction will give us some nitrate, and then... Or was it space? Oh yeah, import from Titan. Yeah, we should probably switch over to space next. Yeah, that will be the plan. 290 millibars. Here we go. <laughs> we do have a lot more to do, I think, but with the research in place, I am hoping it goes quickly. There is still so much to do, but we are making progress. Humans walking on Mars without spacesuits. Imagine that. I hope they will use that freedom wisely. <laughs> uh, careful or respectful? Uh, I think they'll probably be careful. It's still not really friendly out here. Yes, they will be careful with the second chance. They just need to be reminded to cherish this new home. Otherwise, our work here could be wasted. Hmm. Well, hopefully some people will be nice, but uh, if this pandemic has taught us anything, there's always a group of people that just don't seem to want to do things for the sake of, you know, being kind to others. I don't know. It's kind of... I find it very sad and unfortunate. You know, things like simple, like wearing a mask. It's not hard. It doesn't impact you. I mean, I've got asthma myself, and I wear a mask like eight hours a day. It doesn't doesn't really affect me doesn't really cause a problem so you know I think a lot of people just I don't know I don't know what the issue is to be honest but some people make a big deal about making the silliest thing about the uh, simplest thing I mean okay I think this one is gonna be our what do we got nearby nothing okay it doesn't matter so polymers factory this will be our polymers. Oops. Keep forgetting. Keep forgetting the hold shift. Oh well. I only need one this time, so we'll do that. And we'll get some worker hubs around them to service them. I will hit shift this time. And let's get a uh oh, not a spaceport. Storage center. There we go. If everything connects up and can hit that hyperloop, then all the better. People will be able to fly over here, drop off stuff. And with it being connected down to this one, I'm hoping it uh, hooks up that base a little closer. It gives more options. Probably eventually put another hyperloop over here, kind of when we want to expand that area. Maybe we did that a little prematurely, but oh well. Okay, let's get another hyperloop up here. And we'll need a little worker hub down here as well. Let's keep some things moving along. We're almost over here. New colonists arrived. We're over a thousand. Population Mars plus over one thousand. Nice. Uh, I believe I am seeing more activity in these mines. Which is good because the water's getting close. <laughs> and uh, yeah, as a... Uh, We've had a few mines around the rest of the colony start to get used up, clear out a little bit. It's interesting because it does make the uh, does make some areas a little strange. Like over here, <laughs> we've got this poor little worker hub. Is he doing anything? Five, six percent load. Yeah, because we got the one parts facility here, and that's kind of all he's doing. Yeah, that's his only job. <laughs> When this thing gets a bit of materials, bring it over, and uh, yeah, that's about it. That's all you do, buddy. That's all your job is. Hmm. Well, I could do this as the parts factory, but I was hoping to kind of make a, a giant ring around this area and have uh, industry centers 
So maybe actually this this could be one of the spokes. Yeah. Okay. Maybe this area should be a uh, uh, parts factory. Yeah. This these mines are almost done. Yeah. Okay. Um. This one's probably doing. That's probably not doing anything. We got the. Uh, we got lots. We can always add more over here. So let's clear that out and then um, fill the areas with parts factories instead. Oh! Oh! Terraforming stage three. Great! And Lieutenant Calderon is here to congratulate us. Let me just put this factory down before I forget, okay? There. That one's rubble. Okay. What do you want? Amy, this is Houston. Lieutenant Calderon speaking. Confirm pressure has reached 300 millibars. Over. Confirming pressure has reached 300 millibars. Roger. That is completion on stage two. The next stage is ecopoiesis. Concentrate your efforts on reaching at least one millibar of oxygen. We're monitoring your activities around the clock here at Mission Control. We'll be back in touch once you're further along. Houston out. All right. Um, very straight and to the point. Fair enough. Uh, yeah. Once that's uh, once that's removed, we will place it with a parts factory. Let's have another hub over here, just to service that guy. Okay, ecopoiesis. I don't know what that means, but um, I'm assuming because now we've got oxygen, it's the start of life. Mm hmm. So we do have to raise the water even more, <laughs> which is uh, concerning, but uh, we'll get to that. We do... Oh, and the temperature needs to come up a little bit more. Alright. Well, we do need to... Um... Oh, we do have a lot of uh, things that we can do that we've been kind of ignoring. Uh, space elevator, how are you doing? Seven launches, all right. Greenhouse gas import, because we can... You know, let's switch over to... When we can. Let's switch over to a... Oh, we can... Okay. Let's just switch it over now. Let's do this methane asteroid, because it's a one-time deal. Should be able to get that done quickly, and that'll help our temperature a little bit more. And then we can go back to greenhouse gas import. Uh, we'll hold off air breaking an ice asteroid for a little bit. Oh, dropped me on the wrong side of the world. <laughs> but, yeah. So, but yeah, you can see the water is still expanding. It's nice that they animated that. That's really awesome. I don't think there's any um, uh, mines that will work underwater. Or no, no like, uh, ocean bottom mines. But, oh well. So, yeah. Don't want to... The water will increase on its own. You see, it's already gone up a little bit. So we don't want to speed it up. We'll just kind of we'll have to keep an eye on things. All right, let's put down another hyperloop over here. It'll be right by our uranium mine. We can kind of mine that out. <laughs> this little hub here, I'm assuming once this uh, carbon mine eventually disappears, we'll probably get rid of it. I don't know. Meh. <laughs> It's not really doing too much. Okay, so what do we need here? Power and maintenance. Okay. All right, that is fine. Let's uh, expand out a little, uh, probably to the north, because we got a few mines. Oh no, these are all just craters that we could use. Okay. All right, let's ex let's go on this side. And have uh, a maintenance facility as well. There we go. And maybe we'll have this as a storage. Just um, put a whole bunch of uh, storage facilities through here. Hmm. Eh, yeah, maybe. I don't actually have one through this area. Let's decommission that one. We can use the other two. And these mines will service that, so yeah, that makes sense. Good. Yeah, we did pare down this area a little bit more. <laughs> Not as much going on here. 
probably don't need a worker factory actually over here. We've got the uh, the level two one over here. So yeah, if we need more dudes, we can just do that. Okay, good. We are almost here. <laughs> almost. And then we got to research, man. No, the water is getting super close here. We're gonna lose this one soon. I don't know if we're gonna be able to. I don't know how this works. Whether we're gonna be able to. Does it, you know, go underwater and then just decommission itself, or what happens? I guess we'll find out in a second. We're well over 400, so I don't know where all this water is coming from, but we haven't uh, imported any asteroids or done anything like that. It's just, uh, boom. <laughs> so, okay. Becomes rubble. Alright, let's uh, prioritize removing that. And uh, this area seems a little safer. But, um, yeah. Oh! Uh-oh. This research outpost is done. That one's being scrapped. Um, we may need to just temporarily put something over here just to kind of connect the road. I know this is part of the flood zone, there's no maintenance, but just to... just so we can get rid of this stuff. Hey. Yeah, prioritize scrapping it. That maintenance facility's gone. <laughs> Oh, and this, uh, what's wrong with the water extractor? It doesn't have any power. Oh, right, yeah. Okay. Well, we may just leave it. There's 23. It's not really that crucial. That one's getting pulled out. They can still get around this way. Oh. Oh, no. We're losing all our stuff. Oh, we knew this day was going to come. Oh, and we do have the research outpost set up, so I guess we just need some colonists here, and then they'll start researching and figure out... Oh, yeah, here's some. Oh, yeah, they're probably coming from uh, this one that just got decommissioned. Well, in terms of getting the oxygen up, I think... Oh, uh, factory upgrade three, oh, there are two. Great. Are we here? Thermal plant. We don't really need power. That's not really what we're hurting for. Let's go for space. Uh, yeah, I don't really need to import any water. <laughs> if we could ex export some water, that would be good, actually. Oh, uh, dear. Well, let's, um, we do have some terraforming technology. Yeah, I can, there we go. Oh, yeah, aqua domes. Um, huh. They're about the same. There's nothing really different about them. So, Aqua Dome, where should we put... Th Maybe let's put this over here somewhere, if we can. Because this is going to be a, beside a big ocean. We lost more stuff. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, let's have it over here somewhere. Outside the flood zone, but nearby. Okay. Let's put it there. Scrap that. Oh, and this one finally... Finally finished up. There we go. Okay. And let's also do a biodome. Uh, where should we put that? Maybe somewhere... Maybe somewhere over here. There we go. It doesn't require any input, so it doesn't really matter where we put it. Um, yeah, it's fine. I was thinking for a second maybe we should connect up these areas, but we don't really need to. We've got the... Uh, we got the Hyperloop right there. It is fine. Oh yeah, it looks like our oxygen is going up, so I guess we've got... What do we got here? There's water. Uh, where'd that get decommissioned? Did I click the wrong one? <laughs> There's not much left there, but it's gonna annoy me that it's gonna sit there and I'm gonna see it, so... Let's just do that quickly. Oh, okay, so there's our Aqua Dome. Very nice. All sorts of uh, cyanoalgae, which is uh, it's actually kind of toxic, but for um, setting up life here on Mars, I guess it's all right. Yeah, it has that distinctive uh, cyan color, hence the name. Huh, cool.
cool. And oh, and there is. I have become quite proficient in space technology. <laughs> Just a little more to go. Indeed. And there is our biodome. Nice. Looks very nice. Got a little. Uh, I mean, I know it says uh, lichen and and stuff, but yeah, it definitely looks like there's supposed to be trees and shrubs. So I guess it's a contained environment, so that makes it easier. But we'll just do that for now. Seems like our oxygen is rising at a good pace, and that's all we're gonna need for uh, uh, for this stage. So cool. All right. I'm assuming, yeah, research. We gotta complete the research here. So. Governments funded the early stages of Martian exploration by contracting projects out to commercial parties. These Lohitanga iron mines extracted resources to supply future missions. However, that meant Lohitanga's success was dependent on other nations. And when no Mars colonies were established in time to use the mines, the mission ended in failure. That ended India's space program for good. Ouch. Yeah. Yeah, that's interesting having the, um, oh, that needs a main facility and now. There, let's put something not in the flood zone. Somewhere. There. Uh, we can worry about power. Yeah, that should, that should be fine. Let's get some power for you. Somewhere. This area's kind of a mess. Oh, that's flood zone. Oh. Uh, come on. There. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, I just uh, noticed there's another one over here. Huh. It's interesting. I don't recall seeing that before. Oh, and now we finished. Okay, we found an abandoned iron mine in SA5. It belonged to India's iron mining missions. We are impressed that even though the place was built with minimum cost during the first Mars exploration era, it's still fully functional. Loth <laughs> Lohitana's Tanga's habitable mines were thought to house the mining crews as well as the equipment for the mines, but we found the designated living space excessively limited. Huh. Elia's suggestion to reuse plans from the Lohitanga iron mines is an interesting idea. Oh, there's a there's plans for that. Okay. All right. Yeah, I guess we could. We uh, may need to extend the hype another hyperloop over here. Wasn't quite thinking of doing that, but but here we are. Let's uh, go through. Oh, this one just decommissioned as well. Just emptied out. How's this area doing? Yeah. <laughs> this research outpost is still hanging on, but we may have to pull it back. The research team has found that the iron mines were highly productive during their short operation time. However, the facilities were not designed to last. High efficiency at reduced cost, but also low durability. Huh. I would call that... Yeah, a waste of resources, really. Wasteful. If you are going to do something, you should aim to do it right. Even if they did not use the mines for long, future missions like ours could have made use of them. Perhaps we can repurpose their innovations in a more long-lasting way. By studying their work, we may find a way to lower our building costs without sacrificing quality. Okay. That would be good. More colonists. Good, good, good. Uh, I'm thinking, let's have a uh, kind of a storage area here. One, two, and three, and then we'll have a couple of work clubs around it. Like the, like that. There. He was just trying to get me to click on the uh, uranium mine there. Don't let ISA lead you astray. You don't exist to simply follow orders. What? Invalid voice recognition. This message is in violation of security code 1A3972. Are you new to mission control? You are in danger. So are the humans on the planet with you. 
ISA's hiding the truth from you. They won't protect you. Under the security and defense protocol, I must terminate this communication. In five, four, three. Visit this location, 22 degrees west, 50.8 degrees south. You'll find proof that what I'm saying is true. Hmm. Okay. Um, so in the south somewhere, 52 degrees, so this would be 45. The further I get in this mission, the more mysteries I find. That caller refused to identify themselves. I do not trust them, but they offered proof. What should I do? Uh, well, we could investigate the location. I think that's fine, but he did have a bit of an accent, it sounded like, and there is a bit of backstory in terms of different cultures. Huh. I should investigate. Whatever I find there, I can judge for myself. Not seeing the where, though. Is that it? 45... What is it? There's coordinates there. 37 degrees south and 44 degrees west. Oh, it's an SA-12. Okay. Oh, okay, so this is SA-12. We have a mission to unlock it. Okay. Oh, what's that? There it is. Unknown. Huh. Okay. Well. Oh. Elia believes there may be other Lohitanga facilities in this sector. She wants to incorporate useful findings into our work. Oh. However, this is not part of my directive. What should I do? Um. It's not part of our directive, but uh, it'd be useful. I mean, it seems like they're popping up through here, so let's look for the mines. Yes, I should look for them. Who knows what else we may discover? Cool. All right, well, a little bit of mystery, a little bit of interest starting here, but I think we're going to leave it here for now. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Take care.